So you want to be a Flutter dev. Why? Probably because you want to make apps fast. Not native, but fast. You want fast apps or you want to write them fast? Both? Both. Well, let's get started then. You probably want to set up an editor first. VS Code or Android Studio. Depends on your computer. Is it fast? Android Studio. Is it slow? Probably mobile development is not for you. But in any case, Visual Studio could be okay, but the build times are gonna suck. Anyway, VS Code should do. Now set up, install plugins for your editor and you're good to go. Let's start. So let's delete the comments from main and from pubspec. Now you should learn how to run the app. Why is there a counter here? Whatever. First you wanna know about widgets. What are they? How many types they are? Stateful? Stateless? Okay, forget stateful. You just won't use that. Why? You'll see. Trust me for now. Okay, it's because of state management, but let's forget about it now. Learn by doing. Let's implement some UI first. Add some assets to your app. Find out you have to declare them. Have fun with some basic animations. Don't go too deep though. Animated container should do the trick at first. You'll know about the more complicated stuff later, like Rive, Looty and Bean animations. Try this, this and this. But I don't know how to make anything. Just do it. You just think that. You might do. Make a calculator. Need state? Add state. What is state? <sighs> State is a behavioral design pattern that lets an object alter its behavior when its internal state changes. It appears as if the object changed its class. The state pattern is closely related to finite state machine. The gist of it is, you should have a place to keep your variables. What to use for state? Stateful widget? No. We talked about this. Don't use that. Try block. River pod. Provider. Getix. I don't care. Something. Good. We have state. Now it all works. Time for a break. After the short break, make something harder. Consume a REST API. Keep the data. Have it stored in a state. RESTExample.org or something like that. I'll put it on the screen. See what you can do with that. Play around. Have some fun. Learn about lists. HTTP requests. Learn more about state. Teach yourself about dependency injection. Why even make all this? To learn. Try something more complicated again. Let's make Uber. No, that's building a startup. Next idea. Uber for mating cats. Tinder for cats? I don't know. Let's try. Build a cat you are. Find out there is a library for anything in pub.dev. Much like the NPM. Store some stuff locally. Shared preferences. Maybe some secure storage for tokens. SQLite. Okay, maybe just know that there. Learn about backend. Should you write your own? Should you just use Firebase? <sighs> I guess just stick to Firebase for now. Organize your code a bit better. Use services, repos, find about clean code, MVVM. Why everything here? Well, you need to organize your code in order to understand it when it gets larger. Using services and repos cleans your code a lot. And MVVM is just uh, a better structure for everything. And it's theorized already. You don't have to make your own ways of doing it. And probably other people will understand it at first sight. So that's a big bonus. Now have fun with the pet project. Export an APK and an IPA, then deploy them straight to the App Store and Play Store. Now, let's chill a bit because, hooray, we have an app published, we have proven some knowledge and experience for ourselves, and after all this, you should probably be a Flutter Junior. All of this can definitely lend you a paid job in the Flutter space, and from now on you have to smash your head in the real world. This video was meant to be watched once fast, and then come back later to it to see the next step and the next point of your journey. But I advise you to only come to visit this video again when you feel lost in your career, rather than whenever you finished one. I meant a step. Discovering on your own should help you learn much faster than following a step-by-step -step tutorial. I know this because I've done this. And um, every time I was following a tutorial step-by-step, -step, I was just waiting for the next step. You may not be like that, I know that. But um, if you want my advice on how to do it, this is it. Thank you for watching. Consider sharing this video with a friend, subscribing, leaving it a like, engaging with me in a comment. I tend to answer the questions. Also, follow me on socials. I think they're gonna be there and in the description. Yeah, that's about it. Bye.